Goga, I think probably safe to say the best stretch of your career here, you just got through it at the very end of the season. I know you were dealing with injury, but a lot of quality play when you were able to be out there. What to you was the key to stringing together uh, five, six, seven good games in a row? First of all, coach trusting me, you know, uh, giving me the minutes, the time on the court, uh, teammates, you know, trusting me, you know, passing the ball and playing together. You know, when team plays good, you know, you look a lot better. So uh, that's the first thing. And me just staying ready uh, for the opportunities I would get uh, throughout the season and just uh, had to push through this injury. And uh, I guess it paid off. I, I had some good games and uh, uh, it means a lot, man. Like I've been working hard. So uh, finally this work to show, uh, you know, show on the court and pay off. It's, it's a good look and it uh, gives you a little, little bit of extra confidence, you know, going into uh, next season. So it, it's, it was great. That's what I wanted to ask. Can this last month or so for you, can that pay dividends as you hit the off season, as you come back in September? Well, definitely. So now I know I can work on a lot of things uh, and I can play better than that, which would be really good if I, if I can do that and then I'm able to do this, you know, uh, not that one, one game, you know, uh, in a month, but like a couple games in a row. So that means I'm able to go out there and coach, you know, it, it gives coach a little, little confidence in me as well, uh, that he can trust me. Uh, and if somebody go, goes down there, I can start. Uh, so that's a, that's a great thing as well. So I just keep working on uh, my weaknesses, what I have in my game. And uh, just from now on, you know, I gotta make big, big steps. Uh, and which I'm, I think, cap capable. Pacers have a nice collection of young, talented bigs on the roster. It seems like the dynamic is that you're, of course, all uh, pushing for your own playing time, but at the same time, it seems like there's a lot of camaraderie between all of you. Can you kind of shed some light on what your relationship is with guys like Jalen and Isaiah and even Miles? First of all, from Miles, I learned a lot of things. Uh, uh, it's been my, it's, it was my third year playing with him and I learned a lot uh, uh, and I asked a lot of questions uh, and also Isaiah coming in, you know, uh, uh, being ready for the opportunity, you know, stepping up whenever uh, Miles was hurt and I was hurt. He just stepped up, played great and for the rookie it's not that easy. So him coming up, it was huge and with Jalen, I love to play with Jalen uh, uh, because like uh, we talk a lot before games, during the game. It's always great to play with him. He's a great shooter as well and great defender. He can guard four and five and in offense as well, he can play four and five. And uh, all of us being together, yeah, you know, we help each other. We go at each other every practice and which uh, help, helps all of us, you know, get better. So it's a great, a great uh, group of uh, big guys for sure. I think back to a quote that Malcolm said about a month ago where he noted that he felt like he's really seen you mature as a person, as a basketball player. Do you feel like you've grown a lot in that regard the last uh, couple years? Definitely. Uh, I mean, I was 19, 20 year old kid coming here. Uh, not a lot of knowledge about NBA basketball or NBA lifestyle, um, anything. Uh, so uh, a lot of, it took a lot of questions, a lot of, a lot of mistakes. Uh, a lot of popcorn in my car to, you know, uh, learn a lot of things. And him, Malcolm, and he, he's been helping me for three years. We always talk, not only on basketball court, just outside the basketball, uh, talk about and everything, you know, that really helped me and other guys as well. TJ, um, Miles been here with me and overall in the team, everybody, uh, I think everybody can see that, but also it's just me grow, you know, getting old, older, uh, older. Uh, helps as well and just uh, me learning uh, a lot of things about uh, lifestyle about uh, basketball and just overall you know uh, learning about myself as you think to the off season here what areas do you want to improve and, and what's it going to take to accomplish those goals gotta work on everything I think me like uh, being a you know young player gotta work on everything uh, I'm still learning my game you know uh, I learned a lot, lot uh, new things about my game uh, this year. Uh, so I think I can be uh, great in everything, uh, do a little bit of everything, just work on my body, man. Uh, it's huge, you know, my body's maturing now. I uh, have more strength and uh, I got to keep working on that and just overall talk with coaches. 
what whatever Rick has so much experience and a whole staff that I'm, I'm gonna ask them what I need to work on I think that's gonna be more helpful and I think they know much better what I have to work on than I do by myself so